Hey, what's up guys, George. And in this video, I wanna talk about uh, uh, the topic of, of, of CBD bud. Uh, basically substituting smoking weed and getting high with uh, CBD bud. And if you're not familiar with what CBD bud is, it's basically like the oduls of weed. It's, um, it's weed, but with uh, such a, a, a low percentage of THC in it that it doesn't get you high. Um, there are some supposed health benefits from it, from uh, you know getting because they're <coughs> I don't know all the science now they're grown but they're grown in a manner where it has more a lot of CBD and uh, very 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 little amounts of THC in fact so little THC um, I know that um, supposedly you know you wouldn't even fail a drug test smoking the CBD bud so that's why I said it's kind of like the oduls of weed <coughs> um, so this is my thoughts on it um, uh, and, and yes of course you know I've used CBD bud um, uh, and, uh, and I want to start off by saying that, you know, if you find that, uh, we're using CBD, smoking that, 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 that helps to keep you from smoking normal weed and getting high and that it works for you, then great, you know, by all means, you know, enjoy it. It's kind of like O'Doul's, you know, some people, um, you know, they've quit drinking, but they, you know, they, they, they drink O'Doul's and that helps them to stay sober. And, you know, that's, that's great. You know, if that, that works for you and you found that to be helps a helpful substitute to be able to, um, you know, still be it basically to, to satisfy that craving then then by all means go for it now this was I'm just gonna share my experience um, with CBD bud so I had started uh, smoking CBD bud after I had quit smoking weed and this was a, a while back ago um, this was <clears throat> I think in two what year we now I think this was in 2018 um, I had uh, um, I had already quit smoking for a couple of months and then I heard about CBD but I'd never even known about it and also I was like oh my gosh there's you know so I still can smoke and uh, you know at least enjoy the activity of smoking without them to get high and all right, you know, hey, let's try it out. So I got some CBD bud. Um, they sell it locally all around me at the different head shops, and uh, um, and it's crazy because it looks and smells exactly like weed. Which uh, you know, I guess it, it it is weed. It just doesn't have the THC in it, but it uh, looks smells exactly like some of the best weed. And so, um, so anyways, uh, um, started smoking it, and uh, you know, didn't get high. Just kind of felt a little relaxed, like the same way you would just taking CBD. You know, not high just kind of you know more mellowed out and uh, uh, and uh, and I enjoyed it and so I would smoke it at the end of the night um, I would just smoke it out of my uh, out of my bowl as a way to relax and uh, um, and at the time I you know I, I really liked it and uh, and what I found happened was though that over time it became a you know a part of my my evening ritual every night you know I'd, I'd smoke a bowl um, and actually it, it got to the point where I was smoking a quite a few bowls of it and uh, um, uh, and I found a couple of reasons why I stopped using smoking CBD button I'm gonna um, uh, what happened was that as the months went on I found that you know I was smoking uh, more and more and more bowls of it every every evening and it was like it was like I was trying to get high um, hoping that if I smoked just enough you know that would increase that percentage to where I actually would get a little high and sometimes it actually would. I would get like a little, little high. Um, and so I found myself like trying to get that. Um, and before you know it, I was going through, I was spending, all, uh, I was going through like uh, like a hundred bucks a week of CBD. It became an expensive habit. I was smoking a lot of the CBD bud. Um, and uh, uh, and then it, I kind of noticed that it was like, I was back to my, because I was chasing trying to get high with it. It was like I was back to my old lifestyle where I was like this like closet, uh, uh, you know, addict where, you know, I was, I was hiding it, I would sneak off to, you know, go smoke a bowl of the CBD bud, and I just had these same kind of habits that, like, an addict, uh, has, you know, that they try to hide and mask their addiction, um, and, uh, and I found that, uh, it was making me crave even more wanting to smoke weed, uh, and it did actually end up getting me to, 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 to relapse for a little while because I was, the, I was, you know, so used to this smoking the CBD bud and I found myself chasing that high more and more to where I finally ended up, when I did have the opportunity to smoke them, I finally just went in and did it and then it made me relapse for a little while. Um, and, uh, uh, and after all that, you know, I just decided that, you know what, um, I don't, you know, I don't want to use that as a substitute for smoking weed because for me... I found it as like a slippery slope. Like I said, from the, really from like the, um, from practically right in the beginning, I found myself chasing, 
trying to get high with the CBD bud. And again, this is just me, not, you know, for everybody. Um, and, uh, um, and I found it to become an expensive habit, you know, spending like $200 a month on, on a CBD and, uh, you know, and really are there the health benefits? I, part of me wonders if the smoking of it cancels out the health benefits. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But, you know, I, 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 I personally, I like CBD, but I take it just in a tincture form, liquid form that way, not, uh, um, uh, you know, not dealing with the smoke. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, like I said, I found myself smoking more and more of it became an expensive habit and I, and it ended up, uh, um, making me crave smoking weed even more. I found myself cause I was chasing the high so much. Finally got to the point where I was like, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna just smoke and get high for real. You know, I stopped playing around playing these games and, uh, you know, just smoke the real thing and get high. So I found that for me, it was a slippery slope. And it was kind of like a gateway <laughs> into uh, uh, into, sm into smoking actually getting high. So that's just my experience with it. Um, yeah, if you find that it works for you and you don't have those same problems and tendencies, then then and you know, and it works for you, then great. You know, I, I think that um, CBD bud absolutely can be a, um, an excellent alternative to getting off weed, especially if you're in the beginning stages of smoking, uh, quitting smoking weed. That may be, you know, what you need to kind of help uh, the transition. Um, you know, personally, I don't think you need to. Just cold turkey, quit it. You know, the best approach in, in my 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 opinion. But um, you know, it, maybe if you if you you know you like the novelty of smoking, which I can understand that. I used to love the novelty of just smoking a, a blunt or smoking bowls. I loved my bowls and bongs, and so you know in the beginning it may you know you may miss that activity of smoking and so this may be a way to help you transition off of um, um of daily smoking weed so but anyways uh let me know your thoughts on um uh on smoking cbd bud if you tried it if you've used it what your experiences thoughts are be love be open to seeing your guys thoughts and experiences and uh, uh until next time guys stay strong and let's make it a great day a great week a great month a great year let's make it a great life see ya